Hey there, this is Mr. Pi. We're going to take a look at the area of a parallelogram today. Uh, first, we want to find the base and the height of the parallelogram. Well, the height is represented by this red line. That would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The height is 5. And the base is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9. So the base is 9. So at this point, you're going to want to copy this diagram onto graph or grid paper. Uh, draw the parallelogram. Make sure it has a height of 5 and a base of 9. And uh, draw. go ahead and draw in the height, too. Now, once you have this done, you're going to want to cut off this triangle. Okay, cut off that triangle so it's a separate piece so you can move it. What you're going to want to do is translate it to the right. And what you should end up with is a rectangle. Is a rectangle. And that rectangle, well, let's answer this question here. So what shape do you get? And that's just after we translated this triangle over to here, uh, we get a rectangle. So we want to find the height and the base of the rectangle. Well, we can see it has a height of 5. It's the same as the height of the parallelogram. And the base of this rectangle is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the base is 9. The area of a rectangle is given by the length base times the height. Okay, and so how do the heights and the base compare between the rectangle and the parallelogram? They are the same. So what we're going to conclude is that the area of a parallelogram is the same as the area of a rectangle, the base times the height. This has been Mr. Pi developing the formula for the area of a parallelogram.